well, I've been thinking a lot recently about seeing inside the heater, and I mean inside, inside, to see actually running while it's, well, to see what it's doing inside while it's running. So what I want to do is cut this end off, about there, chop that whole section off and see if we can see inside while it's running. So we'll take this over the chop saw and chop that off. Okay, we've got our set up in the chop saw. I've marked a rough line where I think I want to cut it. It's in pretty well, and this is either going to go really well or really, really badly. Either way, it's on camera. Let's see. Everything's nice and tight. Okay, that's the maximum I can cut in that direction. So let's rotate it and cut the other bit. And that should let us see inside. Okay, this also gives you a good cross-sectional area. See how thick this aluminium actually is. It's pretty thick. There's a lot of fins in this. Jesus. Uh, I don't know if you can see inside. Wait, there's a button in this camera that turns the light on. There, that's better. Right, now we can see into the burn chamber. So in there, some the magic happens, and you can see there's like, oh God, that. An inch, an inch and a half between the end of the burn chamber. And the end of this, then the other end of this has actually got a very slight dome to it before it burns back along there and then out the exhaust. But we'll see if it'll actually fire up on the bench. Here's open. Okay, let us peer inside while it fires up. Let's see what happens. It's on. I should rotate it a bit so we can see right inside. Better. If I turn this light off a minute. Ah, not sure if that's better or worse. Oh look, you can see the glow plug. Right, let me zoom zoom in. You see in there? See the glow the glow plug going? If it was in focus it would be really great. Okay, you can see the glow plug going, glowing. Fuel pump starting to pump fuel into it, onto it. I'm gonna bring the bring the height down a little bit again. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, we have flamed out. Which isn't entirely surprising, seeing as it's running without a front cover. I'm going to try again though. Right, this time I'm going to put the end back on. I'm going to sit it in front of it with a, with a weight. Like that. Something, something like that. Wait, it's the wrong way around, that's why. Goes that way. Set that there. I need a hev I need a bigger, heavier weight. Fuck's sake. Oh, rage building. Hey. Set thee there. Okay. It is up and running. I'm now going to remove this weight in the front panel. And then we get to see what's going on inside. And go. There you go.
there's a good chance it'll flame out now because there's no extra heat. You know what I mean? Keeping the heat in. The good heat of it. There it is, it's lying the side just now, it doesn't really matter. I'm trying to keep the camera out of the actual direct flame because it's got quite a lot of heat coming out to I've shut it off now and this is it just doing its final rundown which is this is what it does when you turn it off and it slows the fuel right down stops the fuel and then turns the glue plug back on I presume this is to keep the glow plug clean and kind of keep the burn chamber clean but I don't really know well, that was interesting. I have to say, with the end chopped off, the casing still didn't even get warm. Oh, it's finished now. There's a bit of smoke. <laughs> no, outside that, it's obviously cool because there's no longer the flame burning backwards and then out the exhaust. Wow. Well, I had fun. I've learned a thing. Now, you're probably wondering, eh. Uh, well, you've just wasted a diesel heater. What are you going to do with it now? Well, now I've seen that it will run without a send cap. I could make a plate that fits on here with perhaps a tube in it. And then in the tube, you could go into an intercooler, perhaps, and then out to another chimney, and then have fans blow all that heat out through the intercooler. Then you're not losing any out of the exhaust. All the heat would be made into uh, heat. You know what I mean? All the actual burning gases would be transferred to heat into the workshop. But, I don't know. It's not It's not completely wasted. I mean, you could put that back on. A couple of tacks. Tacks, a few tacks there would be good as new. Don't do that, please, God, unless you've got, like, some way of getting right in and gasketing that so it's a really good seal. Anyway. This is more things to play with. Thanks for watching, guys.